Sheep shears have been around for centuries, but they're still a very useful and important tool on the farm, but only if they're really sharp. If you look carefully, you will see that each blade is curved slightly. The cross section of each one looks like this. They are hollow underneath, but they would sit without wobbling on a flat surface. This is important when you see how the two blades work together. They slide smoothly over each other and the cutting edge is always tight against the opposite blade. There should be no gap anywhere along the two edges as the shears are closed together. So how are they sharpened? Let's start with the two obvious faces, the ones that meet the wool first. They have been ground carefully to the correct angle, so all you have to do is keep to that. Use a flat, fine grit stone or even emery cloth as long as it's wrapped around a flat board. Secure the shears in a vise. Wedge open the blades and use your emery board in even strokes along the blade. If you are using a sharpening stone, put a little light oil on it first. You can see what you're doing because the blade becomes shiny where it's worn by the stone. Don't let the stone roll around the edge. Tilt it too far down and it won't sharpen anything. Too far up and it'll blunt in the blade. Just keep it running smoothly along at the correct angle and flip the shears over to do the other side. Now most people know how to do this much, but the next part is important too. With the stone held firmly this time, we're going to sharpen the other important faces of the blade. Slip the top blade under the bottom blade, so they're turned inside out. This allows you to hold them firmly while you finish the job. This time you're sharpening the bottom of each blade, holding it flat down on the stone all the time. The front and the back edges of the blade should touch the stone at the same time and you'll see if you're doing it right if both edges of the blade become shiny together. Flip it over and do the other side. Doing this sharpens the angle between the two cutting faces but all the time you're using them they will become rounded again. So you might want to give them a quick once over between each sheep you shear. And of course, they should now be sharp enough to cut anything. Cloth, thin plastic, thick card, finger, no, wool. Which brings us to the tip for using these things successfully. So you use the point to slide in, take a piece of wool and then cut through. I'm trying to get that from the side. So you slide the point in parallel with the skin and then close up the shears looking good is that the hairstyle you had in mind Maisie? did we get it right? everybody's wearing it this season I think I'm next with a haircut Tim what do you think? Yeah. Well. Mm. Maybe. <laughs>